Hey everybody, so today, you know, we got some really fun stuff planned, but one thing we're going to do for you is my wife Heather is going to run us through how to make one of her, what I consider, famous strawberry pies. So, with a little cleaning of the kitchen and a little wardrobe change, boom, check it out, PJs, we're going to get to it. So it's fresh fruit time. Well, fresh fruit time, fresh strawberry time here in the Carolinas. One thing that uh, I think is a really big deal is waiting. I don't like waiting, but she does. This is my wife, Heather. Hello. She is going to take us through a lovely whipped cream berry batch, berry patch pie. It gets my tongue tied. It's very good. She only makes it when the strawberries are fresh and you can get them fresh. Summer pie. Summer pie. Or, or late spring. Or late Summer. spring. I'm gonna try to see if we can't do like multiple fruits in it next time. We've done blueberry we have? and strawberry. Okay, so we've done blueberry and strawberry. That's right, we did, it was good too. But not as good. Not as good, no. So, um, and this comes from? My best friend's mom. I've been having this pie since I was a little kid. Hi, Dixie. <laughs> um, yeah, so we got the recipe from her, and when my best friend and I grew up, my best friend started making it, and then when I moved out of state, she taught me how to do it. So, now we do it every year. And now we're going to launch this into internet famedom. First things first in getting all the ingredients. Well, the first things first in cooking something is getting all the... Oh my gosh, you guys can't see that. You're in the, your shadow. <laughs> I know. Nobody said I was... A famous for doing this kind of stuff. All okay. Right. And we start by making the crust. Crust goes first. Crust goes first. Okay. So one thing you want to put your butter out on the counter like, I don't know, 15-20 minutes ahead of time. I didn't. Um, so we'll probably just microwave it for a few seconds because uh, you want it to be soft enough to squish into your um, crust pan. Crust, yeah. Pie tin? Crust that you're making, yeah. Pie right. tin. Pie tin. Okay. So, one cup of flour. I'm gonna do it like this because, well, yeah, no. <laughs> more craisins! You want more craisins? They're on the counter behind you. Alrighty. We're gonna take a brief time out so we can get our daughter more craisins. Making a mess of them. Alright, one large bowl to mix it up in. So, one cup of flour. All right. Hmm. Three tablespoons of sugar. I think that thing in there is a tablespoon, but whatever. The one you're holding is probably a little less with that burn mark in it. Whatever. That's why I'm making them kind of full. <laughs> All right. Three tablespoons. There we go. Three tablespoons of sugar. And then. A pinch of salt. Would you like to do the pinch, honey? Yeah, it's a pinch. Well, no. Oh, fine. Give it a little more. <laughs> oh, right. A big pinch. It holds it together. He doesn't like salt, folks, but uh, it's necessary in some cases. All right. So there's that. Then. Get rid of that. <laughs> Okay, and then we need to cut in six tablespoons of butter. So since this isn't super soft, I'm going to stick it on a plate and just give it a little bit of seconds. A few seconds. A little bit of seconds? I was going to say a little bit of time. It doesn't need much time. Probably like ten. Less than that. Less than that? Yeah. Five? Yeah, we'll start with that. It doesn't need much. It doesn't need to be melted. It just needs to be soft. So, we'll see how this experiment goes. So you don't want to just drop the whole butter piece in there? No, because you have to mix this up. So you cut it in 
about one tablespoon sections. Okay, and then. <laughs> Are they supposed to stick to the side like that? <laughs> no, but it'll be fine. <laughs> Alright. So that was at my... Yeah, that actually is six. Yay for measuring! <laughs> okay, so that's all we need the butter for, so we'll stick this back in the fridge. Alright, now... This is... I don't know exactly what it's called. I call it a pastry press. I don't know if that's the right word for it, but... Before I got this, the first few times I made the pie, I used a... Uh, Fingers. No. Knuckles. <laughs> no. A potato masher. And that works okay, but something like this is better. I got this at Target. But if you want a nice one, you can go to like, you know, Williams Sonoma or somewhere like that. But basically, this is, this is what we need. So, we just start squishing to combine all this stuff. And your butter's going to get stuck up in this thing, so... We use our handy dandy knife to continue to push it back into the bowl. So basically with melted butter it wouldn't do as well? No. Okay. Because it would be too, it would make it kind of runny. Gotcha. We don't need it runny, we just need it to, you'll see the consistency it gets, but um, melted butter, no, not so good. You just want it softened. And you just mix it, and this takes a few minutes. No, I like you. You ready? Okay. So this is about the consistency that you want to have. Like crumbles. Yeah, crumbles. So you want to mix it until it's like that, and it's kind of going to stick together. So uh, you will have preheated, started preheating your oven to 450. Which I did. I should have done it maybe a little sooner, but okay. All right. Show our cute assistant. Say hi, Hadley. Hi, Hadley. <laughs> oh, you literal cute girl. There we go. Okay. There we go. All right, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to just go ahead and pour this mixture into our pie tin. My hand has butter on it. So, I'm going to just pour it in in any old way. Get it in there. And it might stick to your bowl. Okay. And you washed your hands, right? Yes. <laughs> yes, yeah, always an important step. What'd you say? All right. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to yeah. spread it out and kind of press it into the pan. Now we want to press it on the bottom and up the sides. The sides you want to be a little bit thinner than the bottom. So I start by doing that, just putting it up on Luna, the sides. Hi. hi, Luna. Hi. Hi, baby. Mommy can't hold you right now. Yeah. You want Daddy hold you up? Mommy, up. Well, mommy's doing some pie crust right now, sweet pea. Oh, so and it doesn't have to look perfect. It's just kind of, you know, put it up on the sides just a little bit. And it's that's a big chunk of butter because it's really sticking to my hand. Yeah, my hands are super sticky this time. Well, my hands aren't, but you know. Alright, so we just press it. Press so really it. what you're saying is homemade has to be absolutely perfect. Yes. yes. <laughs> it doesn't have to look great. It's going <clears> to <throat> taste great. That's right. Okay, so yeah. Yeah, I need a little flour on my hand or something. Mommy! Hey, look, there's some uh, on the counter. Uh, <laughs> Don't worry, I, wa I cleaned the counter too. Hadley, this piece just keeps sticking to Mom. Hadley, do you want Daddy to pick you up? Yep, yep. So it's a little extra sticky, so I'm just going to sprinkle a little more flour and hope that that helps. I've never had that problem with it before, so I don't know. We'll see. All right. <clears throat> just kind of sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay. Mommy! I'll hold you in a minute, sweetheart. Hey! <laughs> Mommy's doing an important part of the process right now, and we have to wait, okay? Okay. Say, okay, Mommy. You say cook hard? Hold it. We don't hold it. You there want to say go. cook hard. All right, so you kind of see how it's just pressed up a little bit around the sides, kind of thin, and then we just press in the bottom. And that's that part. All right. Okay, so what we're going to do with that pie crust is once our 
oven is fully preheated, we're gonna go ahead and stick that in and bake it for approximately eight minutes. Our oven runs a little bit hot, so I'm gonna probably do like seven and a half. Um, you want it to just be kind of, kind of golden, you know, just a little. Crust light. Yeah, okay, good job. Um, so that's what we're gonna do next, and then we will move on to strawberry preparation, which is the lengthy process. Okay, that's it for now. So what's the next step? What are we doing now? So we are washing and holing, holing all the strawberries. Um, right now we, we haven't finished all of them. We're, we're just starting with two cups. So we're gonna take two cups of strawberries, half a cup of water, half a cup of sugar, um, and two teaspoons of lemon juice. And we are gonna cook this on the stove. So I'm gonna go ahead and I already added the water. I'm gonna put the strawberries in. And I'm gonna take off this piece of stem. Oops, I missed one. Dang it! <laughs> <laughs> and then we will just pour the sugar on there. Mmm, sugar. This is why the pie is delicious. Okay, and then <laughs> I have to find my lemon juice. So we have a total of three full pounds of strawberries. Yeah, and maybe in the comments or in the description we can put the full ingredient We'll put the full full ingredient list uh, in, in the comments below uh, uh, that way. And this is also where it's okay to choose the pretty stuff because if you have mushier strawberries, more ripe strawberries, strawberries you don't want to show, you'll put them in the mixture that we're going to cook because this becomes sauce, so it doesn't matter. So yeah, the riper they are, just make that your two cups that you're going to put in here. Okay, and what did you say? Two teaspoons, yes? I wouldn't pay attention, so sure. Okay, so I'm using the, you know, the fake, it's not fake, but you know, the bottled lemon juice. If you have, you know, fresh lemons and you want to do two teaspoons of fresh lemon juice, I bet that would be even better. Um, but this is what I have, so this is what we're going to use. One, we've got a little more. And two. Okay. So we've got that going. And we are going to heat this to boiling. Just go ahead and turn that on on high. And I, sorry. Ah! <laughs> I like to, you know, get a little spoon and just kind of mix them around just to make sure the sugar is all kind of in the water and stuff. That's your idea, a little spoon? No, I said stir it a little. Oh, I it's just like, said get a little spoon. I don't think so. I think yeah. I said get a spoon. No, nah, I think you said. <laughs> well, we'll see on the video. Let's see what I said. Okay, so we're going to heat that till it boils. The oven has just beat, giving us a one minute warning, so we're going to go ahead and look at our pie crust. Oh, yeah, that should be good. You can see the, the edges, because they're thinner, they get a little brown. Um, so you can make the edges a little thicker if you want to keep that from being too brown. Um, eh. Drop it down a rack? No, I might give it another minute. So here's a couple of instruments you can use. Here's a strawberry hauler <laughs> that I'm going to now wash. Uh, basically, it, you know, pops open like that, shove it in there, twist it, do that number to it, and then it, you know, yanks the hole out. Or, I like using a knife for me, it's faster. So I'm gonna wash this, even though I'm not gonna use it. There we go. Show that. Well, you can't really tell, but it got a little more. Yeah, golden. you can. It got a little more golden in the centers. Woo! So that's gonna be our good okay. looking pie. You just set your crust aside and let it cool, so that just hangs out on there. Okay, and our. And that's the only part that has to do with the oven. That's it. That's why it's also a good summer pie because your oven's not on for hours at a time. And um, yeah, it's great. Just about 10 minutes of the oven and we're done. Okay, so let's see here. We gotta use the blender, huh? All right, it's blender time, right? Yep. Okay, so after you had brought that to a boil, then you lower your heat and simmer it for one minute. Okay. Which we've done. And then we're going to pour that mixture into our electric blender. I'm going to let you do that since I have a baby. Yeah, what's he doing? Really careful. 
handful now since we've got strawberries just splashing around. All right, put that over there. Okay, so that is. All right, so we're going to add cornstarch, which is up in that cupboard, if you wouldn't mind. Do, 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 do. Um, it's, it's in that. I got it. Yeah. Okay. So, we need two uh, heaping tablespoons of this, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, two tablespoons, kind of heaping. Um, so. Heap away. Here, hold on. I'm oh. going to switch sides. Come here. I'm right-handed. So i got to do it like this. This is just easier. Okay, so you want them to kind of be rounded on top. You don't want it to be flat. Um, so we're going to just add that in. Just plop them in there? Yep, just plop them in there. Hadley? You're not, you're not being video nice. Oops. Yeah, so, all right. Those are those. Hadley, will you say hi to everybody? Can you turn and say hi? Say hi. Hi. Do you like strawberries? Yeah. Can you say strawberries? What do you need? Do you want to hold a measuring spoon? Yeah. No? Okay. And by no, I mean yes. <laughs> so now that we've added our cornstarch, we are going to whir, 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 whir until smooth. And I'm going to let Daddy do that. All right, Hadley, here baking. comes the noise. Hey, guys, make some noise. Is there a whir button on this thing? Um, I don't think. Do you usually just use blend? Um, I think so. Okay, here we go, Hadley. You ready? Okay, it's going to be noisy. One, Look, two, gonna... wee! Quick turn of the head to check the chef. She nods her head. We turn it off. Okay. Check out the steam. All right. We got it all blended. All right. So now we're going to return <clears> our <throat> mixture back to our, our pan. It's a spoon. It's a measuring spoon. 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 Okay. Spoon. And you have no idea how delicious this mixture is. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Smell-o-vision doesn't work these days. But, oh, man. Take our word for it. Mm -hmm. And if you want to go ahead and rinse out your blender because we're going to use it for making the whipped cream. All right. Okay, we can't touch it because it's. Okay. We gotta put this. Um, okay. 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 Let's so when you return it to your pan, you're gonna bless you. You're gonna um, put it on medium heat, and you are going to kind of put it on medium heat until the glaze thickens and boils and becomes translucent. We can talk about our slicing. So now the strawberries, three pounds, have been holed. We're going to listen to our daughter whine and complain about not being held at all times. <laughs> uh, are we... Okay, so normally, uh, this is the first time I've ever used this for this purpose. Normally I just use a knife and kind of put them into quarters um, but this is cutting back on time so I'm using this this time um, but you can cut them however you want to because um, we're going to mound them on the pie later so however you want to cut that just you know do that and have fun with it so here's a mid shot or mid cook shot of the bubbling strawberry Gel goodness. Is it boily boily? It's not boily boily. We're getting there. I mean, we're probably about 30 seconds from there. <clears throat> it's probably. Yeah. Let's see. So, just kind of want to stir it up a little bit as it boils. Um, it's not yet at its translucent phase, so it still needs a little bit of time. You're stepping down. Probably not much more time, but we'll give it a little bit more. And when you're stirring this, kind of scrape along the bottom because of the cornstarch and everything. It kind of sticks to the bottom sometimes. So you want to make sure you're scooping that stuff off because it's good. Okay. 
So we're ready with this. Um, this is kind of the consistency that you're looking for. This is the translucency that you're looking for. You can kind of see the black of the spoon through it. So that's what we're looking for. So this is good. Just give it a nice good stir. Make sure you've you know scraped up along the bottom, just gotten everything out of there. And then we're gonna go ahead and remove it from the heat. And we let that cool to room temperature. It takes quite a while because it's been boiling. Um, so if you are in a hurry, once it cools a little bit, you can move it to the refrigerator um, and, you know, cool it a little bit that way. So the next step, the whipped cream topping or spread. Okay, so for our next step, we need heavy whipping cream, cottage cheese. I get small curd, but I don't think it really matters because you're going to blend it up. And vanilla extract. Yes, I bought organic because... I can, because um, it was this cheaper than the other one that wasn't organic. Anywho, um, so you're going to do two-thirds of a cup of the heavy whipping cream, pour that straight into your blender, I like to do this, as you can see, <laughs> I like to bother my husband, um, okay, so good enough. And then we need two thirds of a cup of the cottage cheese as well. So I'm gonna just go ahead and use the same measuring cup because why not? Just stir this up a little bit. And I know it seems really weird to use cottage cheese, but trust us, it comes out good. I was gonna say something about how gross it sounds <laughs> and seems, and it does. I don't, I would never see myself going, mm, I think I'd eat some cottage cheese today. Ever. But it it works. Um, that's gross. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's good. I'm gonna put these away before I forget. Okay. And then so oh I guess I shouldn't have done that because I need it to scoop this in. I was thinking I can eat off of this because I'm not gonna Is our family are gonna be the only ones to eat this pie? That's just gross. <laughs> that's just gross. Ugh. I have a sore throat. I don't want to make you guys sick. Fine. Right, so we just spoon that right in as well. No one needed to know that part of it. But I have a sore throat. Yes. I don't want people to be all like, you. Whatever. Okay. And then we're going to put in a quarter cup of sugar into this as well. More sugar! More sugar! More sugar! Okay. And I'll get another one because... About that much. Uh, vanilla, half a teaspoon, and you can use vanilla or almond extract. I've always used vanilla, but it says that you can use almond. So if you want to, knock yourself out. Uh, what did I say? Half a teaspoon. Hey, look, half a teaspoon. How convenient. I know. All right. I never mind if you get a little extra because it's vanilla and it's delicious. So, put that in. You sure you knocked enough off that spoon? I'll knock something else off. <laughs> Alright, and that's that. And then we're going to whir this until smooth. So, you can blend it until smooth. Hadley, you ready? You ready, Hadley? It's going to be loud, okay? One, two, three. Oh. I'm sorry, baby. Mommy has to do it. Okay, I'm just gonna be. All right. So after everything's done, it doesn't look like curdy cottage cheesy stuff. It's nice and smooth. Okay. So our next step then. Yeah, you got it. So our next step is going to be to spread this mixture into our pie. All right. Now, because our glaze is still cooling, 
so we can't really go too much further right now, but um, we might throw this into the fridge for a little bit to cool it faster. Meh. And then we'll go ahead and start spreading that into the pie tin while this cools in the fridge. I'm right here, Hadley. All right, so we're gonna spoon this, or spread this deliciousness in the bottom of our pie tin. Hadley. Hadley, what do you have in your basket, Hadley? She's a little under the weather, so that's why she's extra cranky, sorry. in there as we can but not all of it because licking out the blender <laughs> is the best not licking it really but you know Hadley what are you doing using leftover strawberries to dip it out yes, yes. Dip it out. yummy all right so that's probably about so we just go did you want to stand up there Hadley okay then you have to ask nicely say please Okay. Now tell Daddy thank you. Thank you. You're welcome, honey. Okay. So you see, we just kind of want to evenly spread it through on the bottom of the um, pie crust. Looks good. It smells good too. <clears throat> Looks good, huh, Hadley? Okay. So that's pretty good. Um, next step is going to be to scoop one, about one cup of the um, strawberry glaze that we made on top of this. Now, it says one cup and it says it's approximately half of the glaze that you made, so that's what we're gonna do, but that's cooling in the fridge, so we're gonna give it a few more minutes, we'll come back to you. Okay, so, um, yeah, anywho, it says to scoop about one cup or half the glaze on there. I never measure it, I just kinda get a, she does not like us to film, apparently. She has not been making that sound until now. Um, okay. I think it's to be standing on the step stool. Oh, maybe. Okay, so I just kind of get a little Ooh. layer on here. Um, just a little bit more. Yeah. This is how we pour our ketchup on the mayo. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> okay, and then I'll set that over here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and take this thing. Um, I'll use this side of it, and you just kind of spread that out. It's gonna get a little mixed. It's not gonna be perfect, but it's gonna be really good. So you just kind of spread that out. Make sure we've got it everywhere. Well, one other thing I was thinking about the pie crust, I don't think I made it thick enough on the sides and that's why it got so brown on the sides and not quite brown enough on the bottom. So make your sides a little bit thicker, but you just wanna make sure that you make the bottom thicker than the sides. Um, anyway, okay, so that's good. <laughs> and she says that like it detracts from the taste. No, it doesn't, but- Yeah, it doesn't. Want, if you want a pie that looks, or a pie crust that looks a little bit nicer, then that's that. Okay, so that spread, and now what we do is we mound strawberries. So we're gonna mound all the strawberries up on top of this thing. So you get all the strawberries that you cut. And like I said, normally I, they're not flat slices like this, uh, cause normally I just use a knife. So in this case, you know, there's not really much to it. I'm just gonna layer them on there. Layer away, baby. Okay, so. You know, it's it's not any kind of specific way to put these. You just kind of mound them onto your pie. You want it to be rounded up like this. You want it to be nice and full. Oh, what the heck? <clears throat> oh no! Ooh, where are we at right now? All right, this is the last step. We are going to pour the rest of our glaze mm. on top of our strawberries, and right. we just kind of want to get it, you know, all over them. So we put a pan underneath that. Yeah. Okay. I'm just asking because I would have made a mess. It's because you're not a strawberry pie making pro. That's true. I am not a strawberry pie making pro. Hadley, are you going to eat strawberry pie with us later? <gasps> Ooh, strawberry pie! I doubt it because she doesn't like to try new things. 
Can you say strawberry? Oh! You alright? You coughing over there? Yeah? Ooh, it looks good. Okay, so it, there are going to be spots that are like kind of spilling over, so you just kind of want to spread it out over your strawberries. I almost yeah, said yeah. cherries, I don't know why. Yeah, yeah. And there's no, like I said, no specific way to do it. You just want to kind of cover them over with your glaze. And... What was that? <laughs> Removing the camera stand. Okay. And there we go. And then what you do is you stick it into the refrigerator and cool it for... 100 degrees? For 100 degrees. Um, you cool it, it just says chill it, but it usually takes a few hours before it kind of sets itself up. So I'm not gonna try and serve this until tonight um, at dinner time, after dinner. <laughs> We're not having pie for dinner. Um, so yeah, I like to give it probably at least five hours. It's deliciousness. We'll report back as we take our first bite. Mm, yummy. Mm -hmm. All right. And there it is.